morning, heading back today. Um, it's five to seven in the morning um, in Shanghai. Uh, I'll get home around about 24 hours from now, um, half 10 UK time tonight after a bit of a slog, not relishing it, but I am flying with BA direct to London um, in their uh, World Traveller Plus class and want to check out um, what that's all, all about. Um, in fact, I pretty much know I came over on it uh, to Beijing but lost the video footage, so we'll have to do it all again on the way back. But anyway, again, probably a reason for that. It was, it was shite. <laughs> no, not the airline, my video. Uh, anyway, uh, heading to breakfast. Uh, need to get to the airport sharpish. Um, on the Dreamliner, they have uh, opaque uh, windows, large windows, but they uh, dim themselves, or you can dim them. Um, so hopefully they're going to... It's going to be the whole day in the light. Um, so hopefully they put it into darkness so I can get some more sleep on that. Didn't get too much last night. Um, and anyway, I'll head to breakfast quickly. So I've arrived at uh, Pudong International Airport Terminal 2. Uh, this terminal was built maybe 15 years ago. At one time, it was just Terminal 1 and it was extremely limited uh, memories of there. There was nothing to do um, and we're usually hung over, but uh, not now. Um, so Terminal 2, I'll go and check in. Hopefully the queues aren't too bad, but it is Chinese New Year. So uh, anyway, fingers crossed. Um, and we'll see what this Dreamliner is like. The problem is I booked into seat 21K, which I found on the first leg uh, is a window seat without a window, um, but serves as a useful pillow to lean against, well, a hard pillow. Um, anyway, we'll see. So the taxi ride from the hotel in Pushi to Pudong Airport took an hour and 15 minutes with a bit of traffic. Um, I was thinking about getting the maglev, you can see that um, signed in the uh, notice board behind me. It's a magnetic levitation train which takes you from Pudong to the International Airport in round about eight minutes, 420 kilometers an hour, built uh, around about 15, 20 years ago. And it would have been fun to, to use that, but uh, the train doesn't go right into the centre of town which would have mean, meant a taxi and then getting the train and ultimately probably a longer journey so um, missed out this time, perhaps next time when I arrive back here. Just realised, <laughs> schoolboy error, forgot to wash my face before I left the hotel. Ridiculous, I had a shower but didn't wash my face. So as a seasoned cattle class traveller, got the essential pillow, um, have scoured Amazon for hours and purchased many uh, a neck pillow for flights. Um, this one seems to be the best, which you'll see it's kind of a scarf with a, a support, uh, which is better than the conventional uh, puffy round the, round the neck. I've actually seen one which looks fantastic, well actually would be fantastic, it's called the ostrich. <laughs> looks a bit like a space helmet though, uh, which balloons your head to around about three times the size, well it appears that way, uh, with a small hole for your face to st stick out, so if I had a bit less pride, uh, <laughs> I think it'd be a very good option. You should have a look on um, Amazon for the ostrich sleep pillow um, to see what I mean. So through security, it was fairly trouble free, queues weren't too long, um, there's about 30 security points, um, I noticed the one next to me, I was at 12, 13 was left empty and uh, 4 was left empty, so obviously for the superstitious travellers, um, number 4 is not lucky in China uh, because uh, their number 4 sounds like the word for death. 
Um, so that's unlucky in China. So often elevators don't have the fourth floor or thirteenth floor. Um, number six is prosperity, and number eight is very lucky. So if you find yourself in a in a public place and don't know the Wi-Fi code, uh, more often than not, it's eight eight. So eight 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 eight. So there's a top tip. Um, I was asked also at security when I went through uh, if I was carrying an umbrella um, and I don't know whether it's British Airways flight to London that it, he was just stereotyping me um, <laughs> or it was a, a security concern or, or uh, perhaps just um, interested in my general well-being when I touched down in London in January so uh, but anyway I wonder if he's ever been asked uh, when he's flown overseas if he was carrying chopsticks um, should have asked him oh no tragedy has struck it's a triple seven it's not a dreamliner which means I'll hopefully retrieve the footage from the 787 on the way out here if not I'll have to make do with the triple seven review and at least I get a comparison and perhaps uh, 24k I'm actually in might have a window next to it so that would be a blessing anyway not the end of the world and you know as far as aircraft tragedies go um, I think I will certainly take a 777 over a 787 compared to some of the other options um, anyway uh, a wee bit disappointed but um, as I say I'll get a comparison so all that talk of the 787 uh, sorry about that. Um, I don't know now I'm concerned about the atmosphere in the 777. <laughs> it won't expand. I won't have an atmosphere like sea level. I'm going to feel groggy. No doubt jet lagged with stingy eyes. Um, that'll teach me. Um, well, anyway, on my way, hopefully to get some Shaolong Bao, which is the Shanghai dumplings. Just realised, having not got to Di Shui Dong, um, haven't tried them on this trip, um, so I'm going to go in search of these um, to get my fix. Uh, not hungry, but as I said, I'm quite stubborn. There's the result. Four yen, four yen. You have your Shaolong Bao Ma. Ah, so traditional Shanghai Shaolong Bao. Uh, could only get a combo meal, so I've got pork and celery dumplings as well. Um, not even hungry, so I might not manage this, but I just wanted to try. Um, greedy, because I had breakfast as well. People will be calling me Xiao Pang soon, uh, little fatty boy. Anyway, who needs dish made down, down.
<coughs> yeah, tiny screen, dated, and it doesn't have a USB. No USB charger, so uh, I'll be lucky if my phone survives this trip. Disappointed. So this is the fetching neck rest I was referring to. It's like a bracket. And it's quite comfortable. Area, as this includes important safety information specific to. This is probably as good a place as any to, to finish up the vlog for the trip. Um, <coughs> no point uh, carrying on to the train and everything, we've seen that. Um, so yeah, had a great trip, really enjoyed doing this, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, really enjoyed China, fantastic place, um, great people, uh, you can talk about anything, the people are the same the world over, um, maybe not talk about politics. Uh, <laughs> but British politics they're well aware of, um, but technology as well, QR codes, scanning, I think these are all things that are going to come to the UK probably in a year, 18 months time. Um, certainly more health conscious as well, less smoking, not expected to drink, um, more people out running, uh, that type of thing. Um, it's cleaner uh, than I remembered, but just that bit more sophisticated. Um, so, yeah, really enjoyed it um, and, uh, well, look forward to the next trip. I think I'll choose maybe a different airline um, in a different place and uh, take it from there. Thanks a lot and if you've enjoyed, please subscribe to my video channel and uh, keep watching. Thanks a lot.